Okay. We are going over your debate with ABL. <laughs> yes, we are. I'm so excited for the fucking memes. The, I was talking to to a friend of mine who's actually watching right now. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine about the fucking chat. They were, like, going insane on me. There were so many good fucking memes from, from, the, from the chat room. I'm so excited. Oh, shit. Here we go. Everybody motivated to kind of do their own thing and, of course, act. Oh, wait. You know, so definitely. you need I, to I, share your screen. Oh, wait. I didn't start that yet. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Why can't I do, like, the high-speed... <laughs> You have to pay them for high speed streaming. Fucking capitalism. <laughs> so shout out to the caller. Love hearing calls like that. Let me get to the next call here. Two five six on the line. Who am I speaking to? Hey, um, <laughs> Billy from Alabama. Um, I I'm a long time watcher. Um, we agree on everything. But <laughs> Why are you laughing? To you told him you were a long time watcher? I am a long time watcher, actually, unironically. You've watched AVL for a while? Well, yeah, I, I watched him back when I agreed with him as well. As well. Oh! And then, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is like the guy who got you into American fascism. <laughs> well,. <laughs> more or less i mean not real like my my politics kind of follow, followed from like the reactionary like gamer community right and then i just found all these people like uh anthony brian logan steven crowder you know ben shapiro to an extent all these people were people who i watched and then when i became a leftist i just like continued to watch them because i didn't want to like shove myself into an echo chamber the goon squad corrupted you the, they they did the goon squad did corrupt me um but i'm glad you're with us now <laughs> <laughs> with us the workers um, of the you world reconcile Pepe? voting for trump given your love of freedom of speech when he's been supportive of military shutting down demonstrations of just that well i, I don't know what you mean like what what freedom of speech has he been like i don't i don't i don't know what you mean like, give, give me some more. Like, go, go, go deeper into that. Sure. Um, so we've seen multiple instances in, in these protests of cops arresting reporters, media people, um, so that we can't see what they're doing in the protest. Trump has been very openly supportive of continuing to send in military to shut down these very peaceful demonstrations. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Someone said I can hear the soy in his voice. Okay, I, 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 I got yeah, you. I know. <laughs> Somebody said that. That was funny. You can hear the soy. Let's pause for a minute. Now, <laughs> yeah, you kind of you kind of conflating two different things. Now, as far as um, sure. cops arresting reporters, I don't know what's going on with that. I, I've not seen that. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but I don't know anything about that. I sure. think what Trump is trying to do is to send in the feds, stop the violence. I mean, you got cities like Portland. That's kind of where he's focusing on, where you got extreme violence. You've had 77 nights of continued chaos. At a certain point, if every night there's always a bunch of violence um, and, and, the, and the actual like physical damage to people has increased exponentially in a place like Portland, I think in one month, uh, in June or July of this year, they had more homicides in the city in that one month than they had all of 2019. So Trump's trying to send in the mm -hmm. federal people to calm down all I think I should have picked up on this right away. This was one of the mistakes the that I made. From... Picked up on what? Uh, so, so like, I, I, I pointed out that he was sending in the military to shut shut down peaceful protest, and then it was like immediate whataboutism to the to the um to the riots when I was specifically citing the peaceful protest. He, he well, just immediately went to the, well, here they're doing this. It's funny because uh, he's conflating the rioting with the peaceful protesting that you brought up and accusing you of conflating. Yeah. Th like, <laughs> oh, 
Honestly. And, and by the way, by the way, the entire chat is doing it too with the quote peaceful protest, peaceful lol, peaceful. Riots are not peaceful. Like, yeah. It's like he didn't say riots. He said cracking down on freedom of speech, of peaceful protest. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I I wouldn't have wanted to get into this with him because, you know, this would have looked really bad if I like defended violence or whatever but like violent protesting and rioting is also free speech to an extent like you can't really it's it's inarguable not that i would necessarily defend that but it's still free speech i mean i agree with you well i don't know if it's the point isn't that it's free speech because it's literally not like you're breaking other laws than the first amendment when you do <laughs> but like sure yeah um you're breaking up a little bit for me oh I'll just like stay close to Mike, I guess. Um, it's um, protesting still. Like it's just violent protesting. Like that's still protesting. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you're right. Like that's not the type of argument you want to have with him. Yeah, like in front of a con completely conservative audience. That but, already think that Antifa is a terrorist organization, like that probably wouldn't go over super well for me. You can just attack him at this angle. Like, it matters like yeah. the angle you attack him on because people will notice. Like, oh wait, like you're. It's almost like you're trying to convince his audience at least. Like, yeah, I mean that's the entire point of a live debate, right? To try to look, like, make the other guy look kind of dumb. But yeah, so like obviously, also, I just want to point out. I just want to point out, e-commerce is too easy. Caller sounds depressed. Fucking true. Caller sounds depressed, unfortunately. <laughs> Fucking true. Somebody just screams, anti-peaceful. Like, do, what? Based <laughs> chatters, yeah. By a lot of those people. If you're going to you troll, have... put more bass in your voice. I can feel the soy oozing out of the speaker. Holy shit. They just listen to his, like, smooth bass tone all day. They don't, like... Yeah, I, I haven't even... Sorry. What? <laughs> I was just saying, I haven't even, like, said anything super horrible. I, like, I've been super nice to him, and his chat's just, like, molding. It's just soy boy. All those people, you're gonna have just regular civilians totally helpless. Or at least less safe than they were before and the evidence and the numbers i just quoted to you when you small have businesses. A, you know a exponential increase in the homicides that's not that's not even including the rape the robbery and general assault and stuff like that property theft property damage and theft so <laughs> he's doing that for that reason not, not to sure. shut down any kind of peaceful protest that's not even really the point the point is to have just law and order how you feel about wait that? so he's denying that I think he's denying the peaceful protest. Like I said, he he jumped immediately to the whataboutism um, of, you know, just saying, well, what about these violent protests? Well, yeah, and he's literally, like, culminating the argument by denying that peaceful protest being taken down. Or, like, he's just... Is he just saying that, like... I mean, that's basically the movie's making. Like, it doesn't really matter what he's... <laughs> what he means. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it's, Billy it's from like... Alabama? More like Billy from Antifa. <laughs> true. Badass. Sorry. Um, Hits, it seems dude. like you've been <laughs> federal police in places that aren't even... With people not even demonstrating so violently. Wouldn't you say it's the right of the people to... Um, to protest a government that they don't support or a system that they don't support? Well, you had, you had the right to peaceful assembly. That's unconstitutional. God, all the right are peaceful making assembly. Yeah. Right. It's fine. Like, everybody does that on a call. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's the key word, peaceful. Now, where have the feds The been crazy liberals not... just want destruction and mayhem. It's not like gotten out of control where it's peaceful. Yeah, the liberals want that. Total yeah, those are the people you're talking about. <laughs> where have they been? Where yeah, civility people? politics riddled. <laughs> Just want the world to fucking burn, dude. You have specific examples of places like it seems like the media has a pretty big incentive to focus on um, these hotbeds of like violence and whatnot. Okay, I understand that, but give me an example of where. 
Trump has sent feds where it was peaceful. Well, obviously, we've seen a lot of a mixture of violence and peaceful protests in a lot of places. This like is a really easy people. win for for him here, by the way. Making me try, making me have to come up with a specific example on the spot like this is a really good move for him. Well, you kept him make... on the ball, like you kept bringing yeah. up like the peaceful ones, and so then he's like, "Okay, give me one." Yeah, I just, I, I, I think I should have had more in front of me because, like. I, I actually didn't have a peaceful protest in mind when I was going into this, which I probably should have. So the, the moms for BLM thing or whatever that I came up with was like literally just on the spot. Like, because he made that was me good, though, because that like that happened. Like, <laughs> Sure, yeah. We've had um, we've had instances of violence there, but we've also had a lot of instances of genuinely peaceful and okay i mean i i, 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 I understand what you're saying i understand what you're saying but give me an example of where trump has sent federal um you know agents to nice interruption by the way protest give me one example i mean honestly it's sad that these people have this type of reaction to this yeah, i was thinking about this dude because um fucking you know they're the ones like the dave rubin types that are like oh free marketplace of ideas you know i i just want to talk about the ideas i i love that we can have free and open discourse <laughs> and then when anybody comes in to his fucking anthony brian logan colin jerk off session where they all call and say oh i i love you and i love trump and you're doing so good i love how as articulate as you are <laughs> opinion. what i love how articulate you are <laughs> 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 articulate yeah yeah that was funny um no but as soon as anybody infiltrates their abl jerk off session with a dissenting opinion it's like fucking autistic beta male soy boy <laughs> beta liberal like it's just like nice civil discourse <laughs> like sure well not even that i mean like they have this type of reaction to this happening and they're they're still just like cuck to the state like oh <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, federal authority save us yeah. from these vi this violence all these people it's yeah, like yeah. what about the fact that the state is like like you say you hit, like how are they so blind to the power of the totalitarian state and the violence of the yeah, state i have no idea it's sad that the this is the reaction the real liberals. yeah it's crazy they make them work with day liberal by the way <laughs> in portland just that but portland has been experiencing violent chaos for 77 nights straight that's not that's not an example well, of it see, but what i'm saying what i'm saying though is that in portland yes there are notice how i said there was there both are... violence and peaceful protesting in portland and then he went right back to 77 days of chaos <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of a back and forth of this yeah. But still, if you had, like, a solid example and you gave him, like, like that would have been, like, a needle. Like, boom, boom. Like, that would have been an attack that would have, like, gotten right, you somewhere. Yeah. That would have been super good. That's what um my sister said, uh, that I just needed to come back in with, like, hard facts and logic. To, like, every time he's like, give me a specific example, I could just be like, boom, here, have a number. This is the play, you know, th that would look super good. Because then that, like, takes it in a different direction where he has to defend his points. Oh, by the way, somebody in the chat is saying that um, they can barely hear me. Do you think I need to talk louder, or can you turn me up, or what? Um, probably. <laughs> Just turn up everything in general with the audio setup. But then, like... Chat, can you hear him? We'll see. Because <laughs> um, that's my important. Is texting me. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, um, <laughs> he said that he meant the YouTube video. Oh, okay. Well, the, the I turned that up, too. Quiet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, I hope I'm not too loud Trump now. has sent federal officers unilaterally... <laughs> to shut down all of the protests no 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 the the, the the federal yes, agents yes listen, yes yes well i'm talking no, you can't no, no. talk to me so you should be stop, stop for a moment the feds <laughs> are there because they always turn violent they're not there just to shut down any that's the mic advantage right there yeah exactly like i he he said something dumb and then i refuted it and then 
And then he was just like, don't over talk me. Well, I'm, let me just my say show. Something, <laughs> some more, yeah, let me just say some more dumb shit for the next 20 minutes. You can't over talk me. Yeah. It's he said the volume is better, by the way. All right, cool. Hey, this, you know, and really the federal agents are there to protect the federal building. They have not been sent to just, you know, totally patrol the entire Portland. They have to be requested to do that. They've not been requested yet. All they can do right now for what Trump has been able to do is send down to protect the federal building. All they do is just stand in front of the building to protect it. So they say that they're there. Okay, but what about the unmarked vans? Like... Yeah, I wish I... I, I it, it's hard because, like, I want to talk about that, but I also don't have specific sources in front of me. This is where having shit in front of me for this would have been, like, huge. Right? Like, it's not just at the federal building. Like, they're literally, like, driving people around the city. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's not... He's just lying here. Wait, 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 I like um 101 Dead Puppies comment. This guy is a plant. Probably a Bernie bro or communist. <laughs> <laughs> both, nice meme, dude. Both accurate? Yeah, A both. plant? <laughs> a plant of who? Yeah, what do they mean? Like, I, am I, like, CIA? <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I don't think they're calling you a Russian asset, because that would be, like, lip shit. <laughs> yeah, what, I wonder what kind of... I mean, I want to go vegetarian. I, I, do they mean that kind of plant, or what? Lamau. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The uh, break apart piece of process is not true. They're there to protect the federal building. They've not been sent yet to do anything else other than that. So what you're saying is not even true. It's false. That's false. That, what he just said is false, dude. Yeah, he's just lying. He's just lying. <laughs> well, sure, but the mayor of Portland himself said that he didn't want federal agents in the city. He has no control over what they do with the federal building. That's federal building. That's not the state. That's not, that ain't the city. Now, he does have the this state. This is something he does wait, a wait. lot um, that I've seen from watching him. What? During, during the, like, not giving me any, or not giving his debate, debate, opponent, debate opponents any, like, benefit of the doubt. He's always like, I'm not even sure if what you're saying is true, but and just to, like, plant the little seeds of doubt, <laughs> like... I'm just assuming that I'm fucking lying, like, the entire time. Well, I mean, he doesn't know. Clearly. Yeah, he, he has like, no idea. Clearly, he doesn't know what he's talking about, so... He's just being honest. Like, I, this guy is honest, I think. Like, he's not really grifting. Yeah. I think this is an honest person. Oh, for sure. Yeah, this guy is, like, they're dumb, but... Well, they're not dumb. They they're good at what they do, like more or less. But they there's not much yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I agree with you. They're not grifting. They're not lying. But still, there's not they're much there kind of... as far as like intellectual content. Yeah, this is the guy that said the KKK was good because they gave presents to his grandmother. So <laughs> yeah, the destiny to be that was amazingly hilarious to me. Yeah, but... just a little, just a little misguided maybe. <laughs> well, here's the thing about racism is that it affects a lot of people in weird ways. Yeah, the the you know, the desire to um fall in line with your whitey comrades is uh compelling, I guess, for some. Right. And the whole like pick me I'm the good one thing about minority communities in general that like people who right. do like things like this is a job like the thing about that right. is like Blair White I feel like cleared the terrain for that career path <laughs> <laughs> yeah she was the she was the trailblazer right you know bravely um bravely carving the path for this new grift very brave but um i can't remember like i don't know if we passed it or not but like i had a thought when i was listening to this last night when it happened that i was like i need to bring this up in the video but like i don't it's not coming so maybe like we're not there yet but yeah maybe we're not there yet i'm sure we'll get to it wait right. not done not done he does have his say when you're talking about the I'm city done, in I'm general not <laughs> why they're not there they're only there at the federal building where they have jurisdiction 
They're not only there at the federal level. Yes, they are. Where, 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 I mean, where, where no, else are they not. at? Do, I mean, do you have any have evidence of that? Where, where, else, me, where, where else have they been? That's out from the federal building. Sure. I mean, they've been all around Portland, <laughs> shutting down per, like the um the 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 moms for BLM thing. They shut down that. Even though See, that this is the big like, fuck up. For women. Me. This is like, the big fuck up. For representing me. BLM peacefully. He so, said, "Is there any exam? Are there any examples of them being anywhere else around the city other than the federal building? That doesn't fucking matter if they're peaceful." Like where they are doesn't doesn't actually matter because if they're peaceful protests, what do you have to? What does the federal fucking whatever ha have to do there? Like what exactly? Why? And that's still that was still the main point of your first question that he still hasn't addressed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think his entire line of argumentation is, what about the Molotov cocktails or whatever? Like. It's so bad. How do how yeah. do people fall for this? Like it's so bad. I, it's, <laughs> it's just like I mean, I feel like like from from an audience member's perspective who genuinely just thinks that all of the BLM whatever shit is just violent riot protest because they absorb Fox News into their very smooth brains all day. Right. Like I feel like I I do look pretty bad from their perspective. But, it, but they just any, like, already think that you're wrong by default. Right, yeah. Like like Turbo One here says, guy just wants to argue. <laughs> guy just wants like, to argue. Well, it's cause, probably because you're the first person in this two and a half hour live stream who actually asked him a hard question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I sat there. I was, you know, because his call in system, like, you don't get in a queue. You you just have to keep hitting the call button, and there's a lot of stream delay, so you don't really know. So I was just sitting there hitting the thing and listening to the stream while I was doing it. And he every single call was just some like obviously white suburban like <laughs> sorry um obviously white suburban conservative person just being like you're doing so good. I love you. I've been watching your channel. We're going back to school. We're opening up <laughs> like and just like jerking him off like over and over again. Like I, how much how little dignity do you have to have as Anthony Brian Logan or how little shame do you have to have to sit there for literally 3 hours and 15 minutes and just get your fucking cock just jerked off? Just like over and over again, person after per like that'd be so exhausting, I feel like. Like I would not want to do that if I were him. Honestly, it's it's probably just part of the job, like Yeah. But um Somebody says if he wants socialism, he's free to move. <laughs> what? What'd they say? If he wants socialism, he's free to move. Just move. <laughs> there we the go. The thing about it is, you haven't even brought up socialism. You're defending the First Amendment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could easily be like some dumb fuck lib arguing the same thing. Like, the, the, this triggers me, I don't know. And they're mocking you saying so sir. You the, well, um, <laughs> they're not mocking me. Uh, sir is a meme in ABL's community. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I just, whenever, I don't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whenever anybody interrupts him. Sorry. What? I don't know. I don't know his community. Oh, well, whenever any, anybody interrupts him, he's like, sir, sir, sir. Like, that's like a meme. He has merch for it and shit. Okay. Okay. So he, all right. I, I think if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the merch, the, the sir merch. Um, yep, there's a sir mug. It's, it's unisex. <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck would a mug yeah. need to be unisex? <laughs> unisex sir mug? What? Sir? <laughs> Dumb fuck. Sir? <laughs> you can get an MSN PC. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Collar is a good, sophist. <laughs> You're a sophist. No, that's a good meme. Wait, what? I'm a sausage? A sophist. Oh, I'm a sophist. <laughs> Wait, what is a sophist again? 
I it's gotta like look that shit up. Sophist. A more like ancient way of calling you an ideologue, I guess. Like you only think that like you can, you're only capable of thinking with your own mind. A paid teacher of philosophy and rhetoric in ancient Greece associated with popular thought with moral skepticism and spacious reasoning. That's like... What the fuck? That's like the actual intellectual definition, not like the debate. Like, you're a so this is sophistry definition, but anyway. Oh, like soft, <laughs> like, um, like just absurdism kind of like just no like don't even don't get it. bogged down on it it's fine <laughs> okay uh, as long as i know the colloquial definition of it it's fine. where where um, like okay so where, where the where the moms were blm near the federal building or no uh i don't believe so do you know is yes they or no like uh, no. You don't know, so you I don't. Mean, so you, wait. So so if you don't know, I, I, no, I, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. wait. You said, <laughs> I said no definitively. I didn't say I didn't know. I said no. I said no definitively. <laughs> so you saying you're not really? So yeah. you could say right. Now, Which sure, watching it back, it does sound like I said no to him saying, "Do you know?" But uh, you right, know, but that's just we're a not near the federal. Lay right? off the opiates. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Let those salty liberal tears flow. <laughs> yeah, see, I get called a liberal from all angles, dude. From the right and the, the left. Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> fucking commies, the anarchists, the tankies, the fucking conservative Trumpers, fascists. Every, I'm a liberal through and through from every direction. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure listening to this caller is making my testosterone <laughs> levels drop. Well, you know. Hey, in the age of fucking, um, you know, people pay good money to get their testosterone levels to drop. So, you know, I'm, I'm giving him a fucking... That's true. I don't know. There's <laughs> a lot of money in a capitalist <laughs> system to get your fucking testosterone lowered. Medicare for all. I can say with like 80, 89. Uh, so, so that means, that means you I'm don't know. cut out really bad. Sorry. There's your 89%. Yeah. 80, 80, 80, 90. 90. I can say for 100%. Uh, and he's just I think like, I said so you don't know. Yeah. Which I can say is bullshit, by the way. I think 80 to 90% sure is like within the margin of error. Well, the thing about it is, in a couple of like moments he literally admits he doesn't know either <laughs> he's just asking yeah. if you do and he ends, he ends i've like i said i've been watching it for a long time he ends every fucking video with let me know if i got this wrong in the comments below like he's not sure about <laughs> fucking anything he says and now when I, when somebody comes in to debate him he's like oh you're only 90 percent sure like okay dude fuck off well I think he just mainly just it's mainly his opinions, right? Like he can't really be right or wrong about his opinions, so he just gets like the freedom to be like, "Hey, am I wrong?" Sure, yeah, I guess so. God, what a fucking okay. Sorry, I'm getting mad. <laughs> but then again, like what I do is the same thing. It's just like smarter because I actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think he knows what he's talking about. It's just incredibly wrong. God. Looking at his channel makes me sad. Christian woman destroys BLM. Jesus Christ. Jesus. <laughs> Certain that the federal agents were sent to the federal building to Snowflake protect it. Alert. I can say that with 100% certainty. I mean, wait, 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 sir. Listen, 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 listen to me now. Listen to me now. I can say with 100% certainty that the feds were sent sir? to the federal building. <laughs> I like how like, you're just calling him sir back. Like That's kind of alpha move. That's kind of what? It's kind of an alpha move. Like, you're not letting him, like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cause not letting him fucking patronize me like that. Right. Did that for 100% sure. You're not sure where sure. the moms for whatever were. You think that they were somewhere, but mm -hmm. you don't know. The moms for whatever. That, that part, <laughs> like, got me. I'm like, whoa, dude. Yeah. The black man the says the moms for whatever about 
Black Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> That's actually egregious. Like, holy shit. The mob or whatever. He doesn't. He didn't even listen to what I said. Also covering his ass from anyone calling him out for being wrong. Yeah, right. Plausible <laughs> deniability. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I guess I, at some other point I can, you know, have more, like, be more percent certain for you if you want. I, I can say 80 to 90 percent certain is pretty good if you want to look into that on your own. <laughs> He's like, no, that's not enough. Um, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this this is where I really tried to like I guess change a mind like not I know he's, I'm not gonna change his mind but you know when I was like uh, looking to that on your own like that's a pretty good thing to say I guess I don't know but I felt like that was good. Well, I mean, like you you can't change his mind because he didn't even defend the thing you asked him. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm talk I'm trying to talk about peaceful protest. I wish. God, if he was, like, an honest actor, I could just be like, you know, would you grant me for the sake of ar- this argument that any instance in which he's sending in federal forces to shut down peaceful protest is wrong? Because, you know, that's the pivot, right? Because I, I say, what do you think about him shutting down these peaceful protests? And he's immediately just not granting me that and just going to, well, look at all these examples of it not being peaceful. Like, it's... It, it just looks really good, I guess, for him to do that. Yeah, but, like... That's it, also dumb. <laughs> that is, like, the standard conservative pablum. Like, that's what he's feeding these people, is just like, yeah, well, violence and rioting and looting, scary anarchists coming to kill your mom. You, go, you, we, you need us. You need the state. You need this violence. You need us. You need your oppressor. Yeah, but then the also the Antifa left are soy boy beta male cuck bitch cuck cuck beta males. Yeah, that's so. their like double think that they can't. Yeah, yeah. They have to think of us as scary, but also as less than them. Right. I mean, that's the classic like fashy thing, <laughs> of course. Fear and disgust. Yes. When you want to present an argument, just have an effect shirt and straight. And kissed Antifa. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can't come in with, you know, sure. maybe I do. Tap all your facts straight. Like, I don't, if I don't know a thing with 100% certainty. <gasps> you got called a beta. Beta? Someone nice. just says beta. <laughs> beta. Yeah, next time I come into this debate, I'm going to be like, Anthony, I took your beautiful advice and I have my facts in front of me. And now I'm 100% sure of everything I'm about to say. So I can't be wrong. Right. And then he's going to concede the debate. It's going to be beautiful. Does he concede debates like that? He's just like, okay, I guess if you have evidence, you can just win. (laughs) Yeah, I want to... I really want to know how that would go. If I... If I actually brought like a structured argument and had a solid counter argument for every single thing he said and kept him in line directly on topic, like... I want to see how things would go if I actually performed like well in a debate with him. Well, you'd probably like, what, what do you win. Think he would do? You'd BTFO him, and he'd be like embarrassed on his own stream. <laughs> That's what would happen. Yeah. Well, see, the problem is like he could. I feel like if at any point he felt like he was losing, he could just be like, you know, I like he could just say that I was doing something stupid, and then just like hang up. But I feel like if he hung up on me, that would look really good for me. Like, if he just hung up, like, that would look like a W from my perspective. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It, it still wouldn't to the audience that he has watching. I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm going to try to get him on COVID. That's an easy one. I mean, only the Trump ideologues are like, and just like, stupid people who don't care are like right. on the wrong side of covid yeah and he's both of those so you know i'll say i don't and they keep calling you antifa but like the beta comment i i wanted to point out beta <laughs> go eat a beta, granola sir, bar go eat a granola bar <laughs> Is granola bars, or are, are granola bars, like, testosterone in, like, what, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. 
I don't think I bet someone sells granola bars with testosterone in it, but I don't. Doesn't like Alex Jones do some of that shit? Doesn't he claim that? <laughs> Alex Jones sells t- testosterone pills, yeah. He sells, like, ED, like, medication, like, dick oh hardener God, pills. <laughs> dick hardener pills, nice. Oh, I might be kind of sure, but I just don't have the information to be able to make that kind of declaration. But Then he says, I don't have the information either. <laughs> Yeah, right. I don't have the information to make that kind of delay. Yeah, I should have just been like, the, grant me it for the sake of argument, you know? Yeah. If, like, do you think he would have, like, taken that? I don't think so. I think he still would have. Like, because he knows he can't win that kind of discussion, right? If he's going to grant me that they're peaceful. Like, the entire point of um, the conservative position on BLM is that everything is a fucking riot. Like, that's the entire way that they win the discussion. Yeah, that's their narrative. That's, like, one of... That's, like, one of the things I was talking about as far as, like, Trump and the his legitimate danger in the election still, even though, that like... Yes, he did just say, I'm kind of sure. Or that he can be kind of sure on something. That, like, Biden might lose is like they have that narrative on their side of like oh the anarchists <laughs> the anarchist it's still getting called antifa what is tds from michael peel tds i don't know maybe like testosterone efficiency syndrome like i don't know that sounds like perhaps <laughs> Is he came from an everyone gets a trophy degeneration. <laughs> I, I'm yeah, pretty, is not, that a dog whistle? Sure you're not, dude. <laughs> I hate that fucking metaphor so much, dude. Oh, participation trophy means that's why they want socialism. It's like, dude, fucking food and shelter and healthcare for people and educate. That's not a fucking trophy. A trophy means nothing. Yeah. It's not a. Tr- it's not like yeah, oh, everybody gets um, a trophy, a special thing that you can only get if you earn it. It's like everybody gets right. a bare minimum of some of a life that you can lead in society as a part of society. That's the uh, like. Yeah. That's the real idea of it. I hate that so it's much. A, yeah, it's really and it's patronizing too. Like make trying to make us feel bad for wanting healthcare and shit. Well, yeah, it's just. That just goes to show you, like, this is class politics playing them. You can only get that type of perspective if you already have the thing that we're fighting for everybody to get. Yeah, you <laughs> fucking hate poor people, yeah. <laughs> but it is. Poor, ABL poor. is about to I, hit I him with a sir, 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 and make the soy boy cry. Oh my god. That's the same one. Wo- that chick keeps fucking commenting. Like, I've seen her. <laughs> she keeps saying shit. <laughs> She's so sure. mad at me. You're not sure. That's it. I, I'm obviously I'm being hyperbolic. I'd say that ninety percent is like either you're sure or you're not you're sure. Not. No, it's on a spectrum. <laughs> we we can't know. See that That's bullshit. Like, a line either like you're that. sure or not. Either you're sure or you're not. <laughs> either you're sure or you're not. <laughs> But like a line oh like God. that, like it's that just makes you sound e- like even more of a soy boy to them. Like, oh, it's on a spectrum whether or not you're right. <laughs> like, well, sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, at this point, I was just kind of memeing on him. Like, I didn't really know where I could go from here. Also, notice the um the influx of this guy's autistic comments following the spectrum word usage. Oh, really? This was, that was pretty good. Yeah. Damn. And oh, by the way, um. TDS apparently is Trump derangement syndrome. Oh, right. The inability to find fault with Trump due to the... Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't even fucking bring up Trump either. (laughs) Wait, yeah, I I think my opening question was like, how do you... Oh, right, yeah. uh, Why do you support Trump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like... Still, that's not what you're talking about right now. (laughs) Yeah, we're more talking about like whether or not it's violent. Well, right now we're actually getting into an incredibly semantic discussion on whether I'm ninety well, or one hundred percent sure. Well, you take it. Yeah. You take it to like the destiny philosophy, like 
<laughs> yeah, and like like I said, like at this point, I didn't really have any ground to stand on, so I was I just figured like fuck it, dude, you know. <laughs> I mean, if you want to like get into epistemology, you can never See? be one hundred percent sure of anything, oh. even things that you perceive directly. So, <laughs> so I'm I, so I'm I, my my name is Anthony. Am He's I, still I trying to up the percentage. Know, low. Do I, do I not know my own name? <laughs> and you, from a philosophical send this guy to Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> nice meme. Perspective, you could argue that you're not mm. sure. Oh, so I don't know my own name. Okay. Somebody says the moms were all white. What? <laughs> what? Who cares? Nice. In poll Andy from the fucking black conservative channel. That's also know? bullshit. <laughs> yeah, they were. I mean, okay, they actually were. They no, were they weren't. I can Google of, moms from BLM right moms. now. Wait, really? Were and I'll get actually, black I, women. I guarantee you I will get black women. <laughs> Do you not see black women in this group? Well, I'm just saying, there's like, a, black woman a lot right of here. people. Uh, okay. There's, there's a lot of white women. <laughs> I guarantee you that. But, like, there's black girls in here somewhere. I. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, like, there there are a lot of white people in Portland. Right here. Well, I mean, and you don't have to be black to be for anti-racism. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. It's really weird that that's their, like, go-to, like, id poll thing. It's like, okay, like, if, oh, you're yeah, white, white. if you're white, then why aren't you out there? Because it's on us to fix the problem to an id poll person, like... Right. They view it as a responsibility of white people. The problem with these people is it seems like they don't view black people as Americans. Well, it's probably part of that, and then that's just a derivative <laughs> of the belief that black people aren't humans. You know, like that's right. It's just so frustrating that I always hear like black people need to fix their own problem. It's like why can't we fix the problems as an American? Like if we see American suffering, we should probably like. That's just Fix nationalistic, that though. Like, America, just, like, I don't know. It's just got to be humanity to me. Sure, yeah, but, like, I guess, um, obviously it's humanity, but, like, a good way to meet these Trump people where they're at with, like, nationalism, it would be to say that they're, you know, Americans. But then they're like, that conflicts with my mythological conception of America because I think it's just me and everyone who looks like me. <laughs> Well, you know, at that point, they're they're pretty far gone. BLM is an LGBTQ movement. Look it up. They are against straight men. Someone says. Nice man, dude. <laughs> so is James William that. Kerr agreeing with me? Is uh, he agreeing with me, saying that it is a spectrum, or is he being sarcastic? He's mocking you. Attitude? I guarantee you, he's mocking you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I have a comrade in the chat. So I have documents I mean, that prove it. I got family members, and, and, and also I'm a male. The most beta no ever. <laughs> beta no <laughs> ever, yeah. yeah. Can I yeah. not be sure about being the male? Yes, I would have literally looked at him and said, "Yeah, you can be unsure of that." To his face at this point. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. I would unironically I mean, be like, right, "Yes, yeah. chat emoji." Yeah, th that's what I did. I was like, yeah, you can't be sure about the fact that you're ne like, it's just he it totally went over his head. I think the um, th this is my take. I think the fucking um, that I can't be sure if I'm a male thing was like a virtue signal to like transpho like a, they oh, were 100%. signaling. Oh, like, percent. Yeah. Like, why else would you bring up the male thing if it were if not for like the the um the trans the anti trans points, you know? Well, obviously, that's what he's thinking behind that question. Like, can I? It's like, actually, you can. <laughs> I start right, debating right. him on gender. <laughs> Caller, you can't be a little bit pregnant. What a stupid fucking anal disanalogous analogy. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, really dumb. I'm saying from a well, a quick Google shows that one of the moms was arrested by the feds for attacking one of them. Good. Oh, these people think women are weak. 
Marxist BS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this clown's on a spectrum. Damn, the straight up ableism in the chat. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm surprised. Well, actually, I haven't like thoroughly read the chat or whatever. I wouldn't be surprised if we got an R word or two in here. Honestly. We already have R word. What a R word. <laughs> necessarily 100% like reliable you know I'm just like you're actually right about that wild. and that's not even about like what? about the fact that like philosophically speaking our senses aren't 100% reliable right, that's yeah. also just scientifically true <laughs> right yeah I mean it's true but like from an optics perspective it doesn't look good to say that you don't know your own name but like like, it's kind of, like, literally true that our senses could always be deceiving us about everything, you know? But, but like, also the fact that, like, human memory isn't reliable, fucking, you can lose your senses, and there's different degrees of senses you can have, and the fact of, like, you can not know your own name. That's a stupid question, because there's no such thing as a true name right, of anything. Yeah. Like, it's just what you get called by people. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have documents and family to, to tell you that your name is... <laughs> to tell you that your name is Anthony, then I guess that's it, you know? That's all you need. You're getting accused of trolling a lot by the chat as well. Yeah, everybody thought I was a troll, which was weird. Somebody said I was a troll because I wasn't really from Alabama because my accent was Midwestern. Oh, right, because in order to be in a state, you have to have a specific way of talking, right? <laughs> I, I guess so. Not, I don't know. Later in the chat, someone says, this guy probably also believes in transgenders and gender fluids, too. So I don't think it's fine. Yeah. Yikes. These people obviously are trans people. Yikes. For the sake of okay. I mean, it's not really a surprise, right? I, I guess not. Holy shit. Percent. But I appreciate the discussion. Oh, it's all good, man. It's all good. Thank yeah, you for the call. So, um, I hope you... Yeah, I hope you're soy. Well. See you later. All right, now take care. <laughs> all right, shout out to the caller. <laughs> no, all right. Was I wrong about what the federal agents no, are? The shout out to the caller was wholesome, though. I was like, that's kind of sweet. Honestly, next time you call him, like at the end, you have to tell him, like, I used to be a fan of you, but then I found like better YouTubers or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i didn't want to diss him too bad i mean well it would be fun to just go in and like shit on him <laughs> but I, I wanted to keep up some kind of like uh some kind of veneer of like sincere good faith debate so you didn't get hung you know? up on yeah yeah right but maybe next time i'll go harder i don't know <laughs> I mean, this if, is gonna be the the Anthony Brian Logan reply guy. Soccer. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. If I call into this shit, I am just gonna go like full on debate. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I would take this in such a different direction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you say that, but then like forty thousand people are are watching you, and then you're like, oh shit, you know, you gotta fucking. Uh, it gets scary in the moment. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like I can just say what I think when I think it, no matter, like, who's listening, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after a while, like, when I got up from my computer and started, like, walking around my room on the phone, it was easier to forget that, like, a bunch of people were watching, and it was easier to just have a conversation. But in the back of my mind, it was still like, what if I say something like astronomically fucking stupid? Well, like stupid but to they who? They rip into you anyway. Like they, they already think you're wrong just by the trajectory of your arguments. Like where you're coming exactly. from. Exactly. And it's just all the same, like the, the, the same, like anti-liberal arguments from them. Like, you know, guy on the phone equals liberal, goes by his feelings, lol. This is seriously how they think, you know? Like, it's like the same shit no matter what I say. So Marxist I could go in there and BS. say <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. 
Imagine if Marx is rolling in his grave, by the way. Jesus. <laughs> I think people misrepresented Marx before he died, honestly. Like that's true. Yeah. He's he's the most misunderstood thinker the entire time. For wait, wait, wait. Angel and Marty, we are talking about <laughs> reality, not philosophical. Is philosophy not part of reality? Philosophy is not reality. Here we go with the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The autistic shit. These dumb zombies are here to eat wait, our wait, brains. Wait. Here. Amy, <laughs> Amy six. Dude's passive aggressive. Did I come <laughs> off as passive aggressive at any point? I don't think you came off as fucking passive aggressive at all. Somebody's mocking you for saying epistemology. <laughs> It's literally just like this guy uses big words. Like, <laughs> I guarantee you, this guy doesn't know. What, his name is Get a Job. That <laughs> <laughs> forehead. Yeah. That's fucking perfect, dude. Yeah. Somebody it's else said like hot dogology or something. Like they, they just really dumb shit. Wasted money on college. You haven't even been to college. I haven't been to college yet. Yeah. Go to Portland, fill that ten percent void of uncertainty. The snark on these people. So what do you so want? So bad to be, faith. What do you want him to be a hundred percent sure of it? Like what is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, so so bad faith. <gasps> that doesn't even make sense for him. <laughs> yeah, they want me to know my argu yeah, they want me to be one hundred percent sure. That doesn't make any sense. And all they were doing was protecting I'm the federal fucked. building. And Ted Wheeler was mad because he because he was saying that the federal agents Forget were inflaming attention. Forget philosophical. This is reality. And Trump was trying to get the okay. agents. <laughs> Back to Twitch, Kyle. I'm sure Destiny is on. Nice. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah, the the crossover already audience. Wait, why is he saying that we need? I need to go hug a tree. <laughs> what? <laughs> what about when did we talk about environmentalism? Back to Twitch caller. I'm sure Destiny is on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's good shit. Please don't ask him in. about gender. Lol. Oh, oh my god, yeah. dude! I have to call into this show. I have to yeah, call into really this show. <laughs> It's it's really fun. I don't know. I like talking to ABL. Uh, on like it it would be hilarious, honestly. Mm, yeah. I'm doing it next time he does this. Do you do you still think his voice is fake? <laughs> no, it no. I just got it from the way okay, he okay. said. From the way that he said. Pardon my impression. Where I got yeah. this hat on my head. I I thought like okay, he's exaggerating that. Yeah, he has a very, like, specific, like, um, very, like, kind of rigid cadence. Like, talking about, like, this very, like, you know, I don't know. It's very structured the way he talks. Yeah, that made it, that made me think that it was, like, pre-rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> also a nice black voice live on stream. Very good. I, I said, like, eh, no racism. <laughs> Pepe laughed. Yeah, no yeah. racism. And be in Portland in general to yeah. calm down all the riots and the protests. And all the agents were doing is sending right He's there by the federal building. And then it'd be so called protest right there. And then if they wanted to come and do stuff, they break that apart. That's really what it was. Toothpasteology. So <laughs> anybody that has an argument, anybody that wants to debate, have your facts straight, have your ducks in a row. And if you don't know something, don't have pride and be like, well, I'm kind of, nah, have I, your you ducks know in you a don't row. Know. I, I told the same thing about my dad a long time ago. My dad told me he was like, look, boy, when you arguing with somebody. If Wait, his dad called I him a still woman? Just like, <laughs> I still just don't see how he thinks that 90% isn't good enough. <laughs> Honestly, it was literally just the, um, the, uh, fact that it would have been just a spear through his whole like bullshit if you just had data <laughs> in front of you yeah, right that's that's what i'm kicking myself for next time 
when I go in for COVID, I'm going to have the fucking, all the numbers, all the arguments, all the counter, I'm going to have it all lined up, and I'm going to fucking blow him the fuck, no, I'm not, I'm not going to blow him the fuck out, but. You probably would, yeah. honestly, because, like, he's, it's bad. He couldn't even defend himself, like, he, he couldn't even honestly answer your question. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I, it's, Um, but that's basically it. Yeah, did, did you remember the thing that you wanted to comment on? No, I just remember, like, there was one specific point he made that I was like, wait, and I would have, like, responded in a different way than you did, but, like, I don't remember which one. Well, I think the last night we were talking on Discord about, um, how I took it in the direction of where the protests were rather than whether they were peaceful or not. And that was yeah, a big mistake. But it was before that. It wasn't even when you guys got to that. Like it... Oh really? Yeah. I wish you remembered. I mean, this would have been a better discussion if you would have just been able to talk about like peaceful protesting and freedom of speech cuz you were trying to get him on hypocrisy yeah. and he just like swerved. <laughs> Into right, his yeah, own just pablum. A hard, yeah, hard pivot. But, it's, I mean... It's really impressive how people... I don't know, I feel like we need Medicare for all just to get this guy a spine. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. I. It's just weird that he doesn't think that. I don't. A lot of people um, need spines, though. <laughs> yeah well th so who won what's your take i mean nobody won obviously he won obviously he won well like what do you mean by winning well i mean i guess like usually when you talk about winning you mean in the eyes of the audience but this audience was fucking gone from the beginning so well, yeah, like, it, it, they weren't on your side at the beginning, and they were never going to be on your side for the most part. Right, yeah. I, I stopped the screen sharing, by the way, so. Um, oh, okay. You don't have to share screens anymore because we're done with it, but. Because I think that was causing us to break up a little bit, some in there, but I think, uh, I think for the most part, I got what you're saying. All right. All right. So, like, any other like commentary on this? Uh, well, I would say. Plus, he's white, but. <laughs> but you can't. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't have that defense. That's his big. That's his trump card right there. You can't. You can't hit him with the god argument. God, that sucks. The god's to me. Yeah, I wish that ABO was white i mean you're probably not <laughs> the only kidding. one who wishes that let's be honest oh yeah abl <laughs> totally wants to be white he wants to be white so bad it's honestly sad but like how these people would like simp for you know the the white conservative people so hard like it's really upsetting yeah. The self-hatred that must go into having an ideology that conflicts like that, you know? God, it's so sad. <sighs> but anyway. <laughs> Don't take any of that out of context, okay? That's <laughs> not racism. <laughs> no racism. Well, anyway, I guess I should let you get on with your Blair White stuff. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have to still fucking do that video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what video are you doing? Trump and the trans community. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> have you watched it already? Or are you no. just like. Just okay, I'm excited, in. yeah. Alright. 